All right, now we've done a measurement of the RJ6 cable and we got a uh, reflected time of 61.8 nanoseconds. So if we go back to our spreadsheet and start plugging in that data, let's see what this one works out to be from a length perspective. So let's just add in a heading, RJ6. The measured time was 61.8 8 nanoseconds, the travel distance, we can use the same formula as this one. Um, only difference is we'll just drop that one down to use the 61.8. Uh, still using the same seconds per foot. And we get a length here of 60.78 feet of travel distance. We'll just copy down this formula, which is basically dividing it by 2. That gives us 30 feet. And then the actual length now is going to be using uh, the velocity factor. So it's just going to copy that down. But I know that we have to tweak this because RJ6 is this RJ6 is not the same velocity factor so oh sorry it's automatically slowed down anyway so this is correct so uh, 0 0.81 uh, so 81 percent velocity factor alright so that now calculates out to 24.61 feet for our RJ68 cable now if I look at the end of the piece of wire here where I had measured it earlier with a tape measure I get 299.25 inches. So if I put in here 299.25 and then divide that by 12 to give us in feet, and I made the same mistake as before, stick an equals in front of it, we end up with 24.93 measured with a tape measure as opposed to getting 24.61 measured through the pulse generator. So again, we're a little bit on the other side, but remember it's um, not a high accuracy oscilloscope. And um, so, you know, if we're close, then we're doing pretty good. And as you can see here, um, we are within uh, 0.3 of an inch, and, um, sorry, 0.3 of a foot here we've got 24.6 to 24.9 so um, you know probably within a few inches anyway of the actual length of the cable so again it's not uh, too bad a method, of, a method of measuring at all I mean if you were measuring something a few hundred feet long um, you would still be within a few inches so if you were having to knock a hole in the wall because you're trying to track down where a cable had been broken or something like that and that's where it was reflecting from you'd still be within you know uh, a few inches of where the actual damage had occurred or something so uh, I think that's yet another success so I'm quite happy with that and let's move on to the next one